The biggest mistake that people make when trying to resolve a problem or situation in their life is attempting to work on the symptom, the thing, the problem, the external issue, the other people, you know, everything else. But for things to change, you have to change. And if you learn that principle and really internalize it, all your problems and issues will somehow magically disappear. You're working on the symptom instead of the root cause. And the root cause is always you. You see, the common denominator in your life is always going to be you. No matter if you're talking about wealth, relationships, the common theme is that you're always in all of those things, right? There are people that are in the same industry as you making 10, 100, 1,000 times more money. Now, what's the difference? It's usually you. <laughs> That's the difference, right? There are people that are having great relationships and succeeding on a high level. And usually the difference is you. That's not fun to hear at first because it means that it's all your fault. But that personal responsibility is what gives us power to make a change. You see, if you start changing you, everything will change for you. If you change who you are, all the things outside will become what you want them to be. All your life ever was and ever will be is a reflection of you. And if we can't come to terms with that, sadly, but fairly, we are stuck with our circumstances for eternity. They're going to keep controlling us. We're going to keep feeling like we're stuck and we can't do anything about them because we never assumed that responsibility. We never took the reins. We never grabbed the horns and actually made our impact. Work on you. Who would I have to become to get what I want? Not how do I get what I want? You see, most people are chasing the how to, how to, how to, right? How do I become rich? It's not how, it's who. If you change and you start adding more value and you contribute more and you make a difference, you're a bigger and better character. Wealth is easy. That's what I realized in my life. I used to struggle, used to be in poverty, worked as a janitor. All of a sudden I was making six figures doing what I loved most. What happened? Did the government change? Not really. Did my family change? Nope. What about, did someone give me that big break and come and save me? No. Talent agency? No. Me. I changed. I shifted. I made a real significant improvement to myself and everything on the outside just basically reflected that. Now I know. Sometimes the first thing that will come up is, well, what do I need to change about me? I'm already pretty good or I don't, I don't really know what I need to do about myself. Well, think about it. What are the areas that you're not happy with? And what can you do to improve you in those areas? If you're not happy with your relationship, how can you be a better partner? If you're not happy with your finances, how can you be of more value to the marketplace so that people and the marketplace would want to reward you more? It's not complicated, it's simple. But change you, not what's outside. Because if you change what's outside, even if you manage to win the lottery, even if you get really lucky, even if you manage to do it once or twice, eventually it'll come back to haunt you. You see, wherever you go, there you are. So change you. When you change you, it's forever. When you change you, it will last you for the rest of your life. You see, once your fire is lit, it's probably not gonna go out. Once you've become a great character, it's unlikely that you'll become a crooked one after. Now it can happen. But again, if you stay focused on working on your character, on developing you, on reading the books, taking the classes, going to the seminars, getting the coaching, it becomes easy. It becomes easy to get what you want because you are who you want. And when you are who you want to be, getting the things that you want to see is easy. That's how it works. So change you, not what's out there. Work on you, not what's out there. Don't try to change them. Don't try to manipulate. Don't try to get that outcome. Look at what you have to shift within. And when you shift what's within, as the universal law says, it will be as within, so without. As above, so below. Change you.